Good morning and welcome to the area securities markets update. Beginning with the Asian session, as always, there were a few economic figures from Australia and China which had a notable impact on the Aussie dollar across the session. In Australia, the third quarter GDP came in with a notable disappointment, growing by 0.3% only, while the estimates were to grow by 0.7% comparing to a growth rate of 0.5% in the second quarter of this year. And this is also the lowest growth rate since the first quarter of 2011. In China, the services PMI came in with a slight improvement. The non-manufacturing PMI also ticked higher toward 53.9 in November, up from 53.8. However, it remains near the lowest level since January of this year. The HSBC also services PMI ticked higher toward 53 in November, up from 52 in October, which is also the first monthly increase in two months. As for the European session ahead, there are a collection of economic figures will be released across the session from Switzerland, France, Italy, Germany and the UK, which are likely to have the biggest impact during the day. Beginning with Switzerland, the third quarter GDP is expected to grow by 0.3% after the economy showed no growth in the first and the second quarter of this year. In Europe, the services PMI will be released during the session today and most of these data are expected to be higher in November comparing to October's reading. However, the Eurozone retail sales is expected to rise by 0.6% in October after a sharp decline of 1.3% in September. In the UK, the services PMI is expected to improve again toward 56.6 in November, up from 56.2 in October. However, this is also the first increase in two months and it remains near the lowest level since last year. Going forward to the US session today, a collection of economic figures will be released during the session from the US and Canada. In the US, or beginning with the US, the ADP non-farm employment change is expected to add around 223,000 new jobs in November, comparing to 230 new jobs in October, which would be the lowest level in two months. The final services PMI is expected to remain stable at 56.3 in November with no change. However, the ISN non-manufacturing PMI is expected to, to rise slightly toward 57.5 in November, up from 57.1 in October, which would be the first monthly increase in two months. Finally, in Canada, the Bank of Canada is expected to keep the current policy unchanged through leaving the overnight rate unchanged at 1%. This is it for today. You can follow us on our social media sites, Twitter, Facebook and YouTube to get the latest economic releases, reports and analysis. Thank you for watching.